Since first opening its doors in the early 90s, the Mall of America has been no stranger to national, even worldwide attention. The Mall of America really is a one of a kind. I mean, beyond the 520 stores that our guests can shop at, we have the world's largest indoor amusement park right in the center of our building. We have a 1.2 million gallon aquarium that's filled with sharks that guests can walk through. And in the midst of a new chapter unfolding outside the mall. The expansion itself is going to include a JW Marriott, an office tower, about 50 to 70 more retailers, a brand new state-of-the-art food hall, not a food court, a food hall, so this is, it's gonna be a new concept. We're going to have a, a larger event space, similar to our rotunda right now, but so another event space to bring in celebrities and a lot of fun events. And then, of course, we're gonna add more parking. The time to introduce mall goers to a new era in entertainment at MOA is now. We just opened our new exhibit center. It's a 60,000 square foot space. It's where Bloomingdale's was. And that exhibit center houses three different exhibits. So we have Barbie, the Dreamhouse Experience, CSI, the Experience, and Star Trek, the Exhibition. So people can come in there and they can spend all day if they wanted in those exhibits. Nickelodeon Universe is also getting a first of its kind indoor zip line, which will soar guests 50 feet in the air, more than 400 feet across the park. Other additions include an interactive scavenger hunt and a nine-minute light show, which plays every night and is programmed to music and fog effects. New eateries are also being dished up. We have the 400 Bar, which is an iconic Minneapolis music venue that's going to be opening on the fourth floor. And then we also have Hard Rock Cafe, which is opening this summer as well in Nickelodeon Universe. So it's a very exciting time for Mall of America. According to Schmidt, the expansion and new entertainment options are expected to bring an additional 20 million guests per year, on top of the 42 million annual visitors the mall currently sees. The landscape of the retail industry is changing so much, and so what we're trying to do is get our guests from out from behind their laptop screens and into the mall here. We want them to experience things they have never experienced and create memories that are going to last a lifetime. And we have about 60% of our visitors that come from within a 150-mile radius. We want to make it new for them every single time they come here. So whether they visit us two months from their last trip or even a year from their last trip, it's going to be brand new for them the next time they visit not just a shopping mall, but a destination for millions to enjoy. Mall of America, the future sure does look bright.